the, uh, the Denny's 2024 Orange Blossom Classic between our very own North Carolina Central Eagles and, and Reach's alum. Uh, man, you better stop playing. Okay, okay, okay. You better stop playing. My bad. My bad. You better stop playing. My bad. I mean, it's, it's Alabama. I mean, but no, it's, no I mean, Alabama a and is totally different than Alabama State, let me tell you. So stop playing with me. Aren't they both in Alabama? Next question. <laughs> We get a chance to do this each day. We got kids joining us. The founder of the Orange Blossom Festival. How you doing, kids? I'm doing great. How are you? You're doing fantastic. You you've been here before. You were talking about it, and I love the story. I love, um, you know, how you guys came about, how it came about, and you know how you guys built it, and what it's been built to, and what it's what it's evolved to. But talk to us about this year's Orange Blossom Classic. This year's Orange Blossom Classic is even more special than the rest, I think. Um, mm -hmm. We're excited, year four. And of course, like you guys said, we've got uh, North Carolina Central University Eagles and Alabama State University mm -hmm. uh, Hornets. And so, of course, we've got a MEAC team versus a SWAC team. We looked at, um, of course, preseason predictions came out a couple of weeks ago. So both teams are favored to finish first that, in their that's conference. Right. So that's exactly right. Yeah. Here we go, ending off with, um, well, kicking off the season with two potential Celebration Bowl contenders. Nice. Wow. Mm -hmm. I had thought about that. Yeah. Listen, I told uh, Coach Robinson and I told uh, Coach Oliver, I said, you know, this is no pressure on either of you. But I just <laughs> want to point out the fact that every team that has played in the Orange Blossom Classic the last three years has gone on to end their season in Atlanta. Oh, so nice. Jackson State in 2022. Uh, FAMU 23 and Jackson State in 21. So wow. they've got to keep up with the tradition. <laughs> I like it. Pressure. But no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no pressure. None. <laughs> the Orange Blossom Classic, again, the Dennis Orange Blossom Classic 2024. We had the executive director of the Orange Blossom Classic in the, in the, in the studio with us, uh, Kendra Bullock. So, talk, so how are things going? Are you guys uh, obviously getting, getting ready, getting prepared? Mm -hmm. Talk about the whole process and, and how people can get involved. Well, um, it's it's a process. Listen, mm -hmm. as as soon as one game ends, we're already planning and oh, preparing wow. for the next game. Matter of fact, I'm already in some 2025 stuff right now, so it's a wow. never ending process. But it's fun and exciting, and what it gives us a chance to do is to really put together an event that our fan base can be be excited about. So this year, with us having two new teams, again, you know, it's a new fan base, mm -hmm. new opportunity for them to come mm -hmm. to South Florida and experience South Florida Labor Day weekend. So we're putting together some special things. We've got some really special guests. We have events that start um, as early as the Sunday before. So we literally have seven days of activities going on in, in Miami. Mm -hmm. Wow, that that's a great segue to my question. You gave me a good idea. <laughs> I just thought about something. <laughs> I just thought about something. But go ahead. Oh Pam. wow, well, that's a good segue to my question would be like some of the you know beyond the field. Mm -hmm. What are some of the big events um, that you want to draw attention to, of why we should come down? So South this Beach. year, the Sunday before the game, we have a pickleball tournament. Oh, right. So um, we're nice. pickleball is actually one of the fastest growing sports yes. right in the country. Yes. Absolutely. So now I told everybody it works for me because I'm also hearing it's like a non-athletic sport. You don't have to be too <laughs> athletic. So, me too. Yeah, tennis players hate it. They feel like it's a slap in the face. Is, but, you is. know, we, we, we love it. We love it. So we have a pickleball tournament. Uh -huh. And then, of course, we always like to incorporate our community events. So mm -hmm. on that Tuesday, we have a career career fair we have um, a careers in sports and entertainment symposium awesome. for people that you know want to be involved in sports but of course understanding what the opportunities are off the field so mm -hmm. we have a couple of our NFL executives that are coming in to host that panel awesome that's on that Tuesday um, and then on that Thursday we have an opening night mixer um, on Friday we have a really big luncheon our luncheon has become like one of our signature events that is our our Welcome reception and kickoff luncheon. We, uh, our theme for the luncheon is always HBCU made. So we Man. celebrate HBCU alum that mm -hmm. have really blazed some trails in the community, and we celebrate them in the areas of social justice, politics, sports, and entertainment. So we have uh, Jennifer Lynn Williams, who's the president of the USA yes. Basketball. Mm -hmm. 
We have Stephen A. Smith, uh, oh, of course, who is awesome. the host of First Take. Mm-hmm. We have our attorney, Benjamin Crump, while not an HBCU alum, but an HBCU supporter. Yes. And right here from the beautiful state of North Carolina, right? Oh, <laughs> he really? hails oh, from no. Lumberton, I believe. He, yeah, he's from yeah. uh, Lumberton, yeah. 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 So um, he's going to be our keynote speaker. He does a lot, of course, in Tallahassee for mm-hmm. Florida A&M and mm-hmm. different HBCUs all over the country. So Ben is going to keynote that. Um, and then we have some local, some local individuals as well. We're also recognizing um, an Alabama State alum who's very important to the Alabama community. Why are you gonna community. do that? Well, <laughs> I wait for who's very important to, call to the your Alabama name out. community. <laughs> 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 but actually important to our country yeah. as a whole. Her name is uh, Cheyenne Webb, and she oh, actually yeah. Oh, yeah, was uh, one of the young girls yeah. that, as you know, um, was a part of our. Um, uh, kind of kicked off the bus boycott, so that's that's where we're yes, recognizing right. her. Very, mm-hmm. very good. Yeah. Wow, man. So, it, what day is this now? That's Thursday. That'll be on Friday. Friday. Mm-hmm. And then Friday night, of course, another party. So we have our opening Friday night. Dinner party. Friday night. Yes, that's Friday yeah, night. I, I got to talk to you about this. This is over. I, I just got a plan in my head. Okay. I got I got a good idea in my head. I want to hear. And then get back on Saturday morning, big health and wellness push. So we have a 5K. Um, And then we have Saturday night, got to have the Battle of the Bands. That's right. So we will have the Marching Eagles. We'll have the Marching Hornets. And then we have some of our local high school bands that will be participating in the Battle of the Bands. That'll be nice. We come back Sunday morning. Um, 11 a.m. gates open for the game. So we've got a huge fan fest. Uh, we've got some live talent that'll be programmed on the fan fest stage. And then 3 p.m. we kick off for the big game. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Man, that's whew, that sounds very, very exciting already. Mm-hmm. We're talking to Kendra Bullock, who's the second director of the uh, Orange Blossom Classic. It, it's a tradition like no other. And, of course, this year is a Denny's. Orange Blossom Classic, and if you if you from HBCU, heard of HBCU, or even know ever seen one, you want you want to go to this event because, as mm-hmm. she said, it kind of land, kind of sets the, the the landscape in terms of a good kickoff for the whole season mm-hmm. for for HBCUs, and I think the HBCU uh, brand is the largest ever been, and mm-hmm. this is a great time to take take that into uh in the place. So, uh, Coach Oliver, and you and you got our main man because you know we. We had a conversation. Well, we didn't have a conversation with uh, with the coach from uh, Alabama State, but he got us involved in, in, in a couple of things that allowed us to be on Amazon Prime. He did. We thank you, sir. <laughs> we ended up making Amazon Prime. <laughs> and, uh, and, and Coach Prime, in this documentary, they mm-hmm. have a, we was part of that when, uh, when uh, they had this, this, con- this conflict about he ain't swag and that kind of thing. So, so you, remember, you remember that? Told, yes, listen. I told somebody, I said, well, because they said, well, who do you think is going to win the game? I said, I don't know who's going to win the game, but I want to know who's going to win the press conference. <laughs> oh, that's because right. That's between, right. Um, Steady Eddie, as they call Steady him, right? Coach Eddie. Robinson Eddie. Eddie. with the Who Is Swag. <laughs> yes. And Coach Oliver, after he beat Jackson State yep. in 2022, right. told them that Colorado should have called him. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, wow. Right, oh, so wow. We, That's right. we got some very entertaining oh. coaches as oh, well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The press yeah. conference. So it's going to oh, be the right. main event. Right. We got to make right. sure we up in the press conference, man. We got to make sure we in the press conference. I'm going to say, Coach, you mind explaining to me what swag is? <laughs> <laughs> and exactly who is yeah, yeah, who swag. Is swag? Are you yeah. really swag? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's going to be it, then. Set, right. Go, that, that'll go, set the tone. Because last I checked, are you swag? <laughs> <laughs> you you got to yeah. win this game to be swag. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, Man. you've got Coach Oliver saying that, um, you know, yeah. he doesn't feel that the MIAC gets the necessary oh, said, respect yeah, that they said, deserve. He says that so, all the time, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. He, he is going to make sure that he represents well Ooh, for the MIAC. That's a good one. Yeah, we, we got to play mm-hmm. off that some more, man. Okay. <laughs> talk, we talk, about, that. talk about the Hard Rock Stadium and the partnership and being mm-hmm. there and being in such a tremendous venue. And having the um, the career fair, the job fair, being mm-hmm. a part of it, and just being mm-hmm. a part of that, you know, just, just talk about the event itself, just the entire event, the entire weekend, but how you guys have incorporated such a class A type, mm-hmm. you know, facility and things like that. So one thing, you know, we're H, it's an HBCU game, and we have a yes. lot of games that, as you know, from the Bayou Classic to the Magic mm-hmm. City Classic, Absolutely. there's so many, Florida Classic, there's so yes. many classics that are built on tradition, and mm-hmm. they're going into their 40, 50th year. So I told my team when we first started, I said, we're the new kids on the block, right? right. So even though the Orange Blossom Classic has such rich heritage, 
after a 40 year hiatus, right. we're kind of reintroducing it to a lot of people that really mm-hmm. didn't know about it. Um, so we're, you know, not really competing, but still having to make sure that we provide an experience mm-hmm. that kind of helps to keep us, you know, within those conversations about those major classics. Mm-hmm. And so in doing that, you know, I wanted to try to find a way that we can keep that HBCU culture, keep the HBCU tradition, but also provide an experience that looks a little bit different. Mm -hmm. So having, you know, a backdrop like Hard Rock Stadium, allowing these kids Mm -hmm. to come in and play in an NFL stadium where, you know, many of them may not ever have that opportunity, you know, ever again. So just to be able to say that they did that, um, that's the first thing. And then. You know, when we bring in events like the Career Fair and the Careers in Sports and Entertainment Symposium, when we first started this uh, Orange Blossom Classic, OBC for short, as we call it, our tagline was One Big Community. Mm -hmm. And so Mm -hmm. we began the game in 2021, as you guys know, with Jackson State and Coach Prime that Mm -hmm. really helped to shine a light on what I always say, we always knew that HBCUs yes. are popular and that they're yes. great, but he just gave us that national mm-hmm. attention and profile. So when we brought the game in in 2021, we had that spotlight on us. We also brought it back during the height of the Black Lives Matter movement. Mm. And so there was so much attention on us. So it was like, OK, well, one big community, you know, we're together we're not separated Mm -hmm. we're one big community we want to welcome everybody so how do we do that well we produce community events so you can come to the career fair and get a job it doesn't matter if you went to FAMU or Alabama State or Mm -hmm. Alabama A&M you can sit in and listen about the sports and entertainment symposium it doesn't matter you know if you are an HBCU grad or Mm -hmm. wherever so Mm -hmm. then when bringing in different partners we found out that um we had partners that were really wanting to look for HBCU talent, recruit HBCU talent. So they were getting hired oh, awesome. on the spot. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Outstanding. Mm-hmm. We're talking with Kendra Bullock, um, yeah. the founder of the Orange Blossom Classic, or I guess the executive director for the Orange mm-hmm. Blossom Classic, the 2024 Denny's Orange Blossom Classic, mm-hmm. uh, which is going to feature North Carolina Central University and Alabama mm-hmm. State University. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Kendra, if, if, if people want to get tickets and things of that nature, if they haven't got it yet, t- t- tell us how, how to get those oh, tickets. Oh, yeah. man. Okay. is the website. And on all of our social, you can visit us at Orange Blossom FC, short for football classic. Outstanding. Mm-hmm. It's been a pleasure having you on yes. once again. Thank, Thank you for it, having me. So it's a pleasure. You guys are doing a fantastic job. And um, hopefully, we'll get a chance to get down there and uh, participate in all the fun. Yeah. Yes. So yes. we'll be down there that Friday. Hopefully, okay. I get a chance to check it out. Perfect. Or maybe that Tuesday. Maybe that Tuesday. Spas and Billiards, Buffalo.